Hello everyone, this is Mark from Osmio and um, we're doing a quick video to show you uh, the unboxing of the Osmio Genesis Hydrogen Water Bottle and this is also a little video user manual as well and we can answer any frequently asked questions and show you exactly what it is. So Lizzie's unboxing her new Genesis. <laughs> right, let's see what we got in there. So okay. uh, there's the manual, right, which you don't have to read because you're watching this video. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. So. Let's see, right. Ooh, it's so slick. Okay, so that's the bottle in there. Right, okay. Now you'll notice that in there you've got an orange plug, which underneath that it'll be wet because the proton exchange membrane in the generator must not be left to dry out. So when you're operating this bottle, you always want to leave a little bit of water just in there. But for now, what we can do is, so uh, you want to get that plug out first. Um, there we go. So the bottom of the bottle unscrews. Just take yeah. it out. Yeah, just take that out. There we go. So you leave that in the box. Yeah, there we go. Now if you look in there, you'll see that it's probably, you can see it's a bit, you might not be able to see on the video, but can you see it's wet in there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. So now you can screw the bottle back on as you did. But before, before you do that, let me just show you. There is um, silicon O-rings in there, if you can point it towards the camera. There we go. There are silicon O-rings in there. And is there anything else in the box? There should be some spares. Yeah. Okay, so let's here. finish unboxing that. So there, those are the spares. If you open that, you'll find that there should be two different sized O-rings in there. Now, you don't have to do anything with them because these are pre-installed, these are spares. So you just keep them in the box as spares. Okay. And we'll show you later on where they go. And what else have we got there? Should have a I charging, charging cable. charging cable. Right, so that's USB. a USB-C cable there. That USB will go into anything. So that will charge from a laptop or any plug or any adapter. So there should be some charge in the bottle as it goes now. So, okay, should I uh, put this back on there? Yeah, you can put this back on now. Uh, and if you tight. unscrew the lid, that's it, nice and yeah. tight. If you unscrew the lid as well, you'll see that there is a um, there's an O-ring underneath in the lid, which is in there, right? Actually, the, it's kind of hard to see because it's the same kind of clear colour. But you can see from the from the packet of O-rings, it's the larger one. Oh yeah, I can see. Uh, yeah. Actually, is it the larger one or is it the smaller one? I can't remember now. It's, it's one the of the two. One. It's the larger yeah. one in the in the lid. And so it'll be that one, I think, in the in the other side here. There. Yeah. Okay, fine. Right, next. So you want to then, I'll just pause it so you can then fill it with water. Go. Right. Now, when we fill this bottle, we don't want to, um, for example, only put a little bit. We want to fill it pretty much all the way to the top. Because when we electrolyze this, we don't want to be electrolyzing and trying to saturate the air in there with hydrogen. Try a little bit more. So you get it right up to the top. That's it. Okay, that's right to the top. So you might pour a tiny bit out. Pour a tiny bit out, just on the drip tray or somewhere. That's it, not too much. Okay, that's good. So you want to get the water level nicely up to the top, right? And that's what we'll go from there. Right, I should have mentioned just before that that we would have given the generator a little rinse because of that, taking the cap off that bit of water, we rinse it out because that's got a um, uh, something in there which is not just water. So, right, so you rinse it out and then we'll fill it with water for the first time and you can put the lid on now. And then, yeah, um, press the button then to, you sort of press and hold the button. Okay, there we are. And it's now started. So obviously, yeah, now that's working now. It'll run for five minutes and then it will beep three times, I think, when it finishes. It beeps three times. And the LED light is going through the cycling for the colours. So now if it starts flashing red, that means uh, battery is low and it needs to go on charge. So guidance for charging is uh, let it run out of battery completely put it on the charging cable but don't indefinitely leave it on there because once the battery is fully charged it will um, go from a solid red color to a green color that means the battery is fully charged when it's when it's green like that on charge okay so so the thing to do is wait for it to fully charge and then take it off the lead and this will help a lot with uh, preserving your battery life um, so don't overcharge the battery in other words 
So then we're going to let it do that. Now, one thing people can do, and it helps actually, can even double the amount of hydrogen this will produce, is once it's finished beeping, we want to unscrew the lid and relieve the pressure. So we'll hear it go and relieve that pressure. Screw it back on and press it again. So we're doing two five minute cycles you can do with this, which is will optimize the amount of hydrogen in there. Um, now, one other frequently asked question is about the water you're putting in there. Now, this water came from a Osmia Zero reverse osmosis system. So that's got a low TDS, maybe 20 or 30 parts per million, uh, compared to the tap water here, which is about 300 parts per million of TDS. So what we'd say is um, in order to achieve the best saturation of hydrogen in the water, uh, the purest water or the lowest TDS water will achieve the best results. So example distilled or reverse osmosis water is the ideal water to put in one of these now in the instructions there'll be guidance in there about how to clean the bottle now cleaning is really necessary if you're not using distilled or reverse osmosis water because the the lime scale in the tap water for example will end up kind of getting into the generator and causing a problem and if you do not see bubbles in this then you know it's not working um, and another reason why the proton exchange membrane is something that will eventually go but if it dries out or um, gets too hot or too cold it can get brittle and crack and break apart so then you won't be conducting and you won't see bubbles in it so nevertheless if anything goes wrong with this bottle it can be returned to Osmio for repair new battery etc so yeah um, do you have any questions about your new bottle Lizzie? <laughs> um... I think it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful product. Um, so uh, how quickly do I drink this? Do I drink it straight away? Good or? question. Um, the sooner you drink it after you finish making hydrogen, the better, because hydrogen has a what they call a half-life in an open container of about four hours. So in eight hours, it's all gone. But in okay. uh, So I would say um, the sooner you drink it, the better. Because but that's easily drinkable in that size. Um, yeah, so how nice. many of these can I drink a day? As Is many there... as possible. Uh, I mean, as, okay. in, as in whenever you drink water, if you can drink four or five of these a day, that's really good. And, you know, you're drinking plenty of water is good for you anyway. But the point is um, using the bottle and preparing the water makes it a bit more of a conscious act. And so you can... You know, set an alarm on your phone to ring four times a day and <laughs> drink a bottle a because, idea. why not? Why not? Because it can be a water alarm and remind you to hydrate and actually get hydrogen into you. So, you can you can't overdose on hydrogen. You can drink too much water, <laughs> but people yeah. normally don't. So, yeah, just drink plenty of water. And it's a nice size to sort of take in my bag out and about. I think, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I like it. It's not. It feels pretty sturdy. Like it's not going to be breakable. It's in terms of cleaning the bottle, um, like you obviously showed how it comes apart, and you can do normal type of washing up on it. Mm. So I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher, but I would just, you know, if you wanted to clean the plastic um, middle bit and so yeah. on. Um, it's important also not to get the base wet, if um, because you don't want water running into the electronics or actually like the charging. USB-C port there and uh, want to avoid that so the o-rings and the seal that's here is stopping that so if you see any water coming out here it could mean two things either the o-rings not in in place or damaged or you haven't screwed it up tight enough and obviously because it can be in your bag there's an o-ring in the lid so if it tips upside down there shouldn't be anything there now you can see it's just finished its five minute cycle but if you want to um, unscrew the lid you want to hear the pressure yeah, you had that little shh. Okay, now you can screw it back on straight away. And you've relieved the pressure by doing that. So screw it on nice and tight and press the button. Um, obviously, you have to use the lid when doing this because if you had it in an open container with the lid off, it, it, the hydrogen would not saturate. Because there is a lid, there's quite a huge amount of pressure mm. builds up in this bottle. And you can see that's why the bottle is a very thick, thick-walled plastic there. Because it holds 60 psi of pressure. I'm getting double bubble. Yeah. <laughs> now you're doubling, yeah. <laughs> so actually after this, um, we can do... I did bring some H2 blue because on the last video I ran out of H2 blue because it made so much hydrogen. <laughs> so actually we what can... What does that do again? I want to retest um, how much hydrogen is in this after two presses with, uh, right. with H2 blue, which is 
simply um, some blue solution which titrates the hydrogen levels so it shows you each drop represents 0.1 milligrams of hydrogen so therefore um, you know 10 drops would be one milligram per litre so that's what we're going to measure we're going to put it in this uh, I think it's five milliliters that you put in up to that line and then you keep dropping until until it stays blue and then you know how much hydrogen is in there so I'll pause the video now and we'll come back to that go on you've got some questions while we're waiting for the second cycle to finish <laughs> yeah so I just want to understand a bit more about why drinking hydrogen is good for me okay um, well first of all um, water is hydrogen and oxygen uh, but this it, this is putting additional hydrogen in in water so we know the water is good for us Okay, yes. but water is good for us because it has two thirds of hydrogen in it. But that that water is used for different reasons. So when we drink water, we are making stomach acids and fluids and so on and so forth. But in the fermentation of the food we eat in the gut, we make hydrogen, and we also make hydrogen in the brain through neuromelanin. So hydrogen plays a vital physiological function for it humans we would not be alive without hydrogen so when we That's say we're important. dehydrated yeah it means a lack of hydrogen. hydrogen isn't it rather than water yeah so now let's see how much hydrogen is in here so if you fill it up to the five milliliter line that's it there you go so you can hear the pressure and you open that and just drop carefully just you can get five milliliters in there to the line yeah okay right now we'll is that five? Let's see. Can't see the. Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much. I think it's slightly okay, below. Okay, so I'm going to do one drop at a time. Yeah, do one drop at a time. We'll count them. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Two. Well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, Mm -hmm. Okay, right. that stayed blue now. So that shows that was about 27, was 27, 27 to 28. Yeah, so that represents 2.7 milligrams per litre of hydrogen, which is great. Um, so now that's lower than I've tested before, but I think it was because on the first press, the lid wasn't very tight. Because you're probably very gentle about the way you screwed on the lid. So that's a very good point, actually. If you don't actually really properly tighten the lid, it's going to get out. Because when every time I've done it, I screw it tight and I hear a, psh, a real... Mm. When you did it, you didn't. So that... So that, that has got to be a lot tighter. So, yes, and that will affect how much hydrogen is. Because this, this test was lower than a very similar one I did. I got, like, nearly double that. So that's a really good thing to learn about this bottle, that it all works on power and pressure. And if that lid is not screwed on really well, it's going to work, but it's not going to generate like four milligrams is what you could have generated, it's actually. So you were 2.7 mm -hmm. in this test. But yeah, so that shows you it does generate hydrogen and a very good amount. In studies, they've done 0.5 to 1 milligram in studies in Japan and so on. This is 2.7 milligrams, so hope that is fine and um, if anyone has any questions about this product that we've not answered in this video please do write a comment and I will reply so for everyone uh, to get the answers they need about this um, there are many ways to do hydrogen this is the cleanest way to do hydrogen this is only putting hydrogen in your water and that's it uh, the, um, the the generator has like a sandwich it's a it's an anode and a cathode plate in sandwich between a proton exchange membrane. So you see at the bottom here, it's very normal for you to get 
um, eventually some water coming out of here because that's that's the direction the um, oxygen goes in. So the hydrogen goes that way and the oxygen goes the other way. So yeah, please do write a comment if you've got any questions about this and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thanks.